Hi guys, this is going to be a very quick video because we are going to talk about the new WhatsApp Pay feature in India. We will cover what is the WhatsApp payment feature, what do you need to be able to use the WhatsApp payment feature, how to enable WhatsApp payment feature on your phone, how to use the WhatsApp payment feature and finally we will talk about a few benefits. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi, owner of a work from home blog Mrs. Daku Studio. We make videos on making money and working from home each and every week. So take a moment, hit that red icon below and subscribe to my channel. So what is the WhatsApp payment feature? As you all know, the Facebook owned popular instant messaging app WhatsApp that we all use in our everyday lives. On Friday launched its payment services in India, which can now be used to send and receive payments much more conveniently and easily for the Indian users. Now the thing is my friends, I know a lot of freelancers and small business owners who use WhatsApp to be in touch with their clients, customers, contractors and other parts of their businesses. If we could all just directly pay from the platform that is WhatsApp, it is going to be far more easier and faster for us to do that. That is what WhatsApp payment feature provides us. WhatsApp Pay is an easy to use UPI payment feature inside the messenger itself. So inside the chat window itself, you can pay the person that you're chatting with. It allows users to send and receive money to your contacts while chatting with them. It uses UPI, a payment infrastructure that we are all aware of and has linked to a number of banks in the country to be able to send and receive the money. However, not all Indian users have access to this feature yet, so don't be disappointed if it is not enabled on your phone yet. While WhatsApp has a base of 400 million users in India, the WhatsApp payment feature has only been granted to a random pick of 20 million users right now. This is extremely common for businesses because they generally roll out big changes like this in small chunks to ensure that it is to ensure a smooth transition and a transition that is without any glitch. As time passes, that is in a few months time, this WhatsApp payment feature should be available to all of us. So what do you need to be able to use WhatsApp payment feature in India? Well, it is necessary to have a bank account and a debit card in India. WhatsApp sends instructions to the bank that initiates the transfer of money via UPI. So it is important that you have a bank account and a debit card in India. Your WhatsApp number should be the one your WhatsApp number should be the one linked to your bank account for smooth integration. If there are two different numbers, then you will have a problem in verifying and using the payment feature. Besides that, you obviously need a phone and the feature enabled on your phone. So how to set up your account if the WhatsApp payment feature is already enabled on your phone? So the first thing that you need to check is whether or not it is enabled on your phone. So open WhatsApp app on your phone and tap on the three dotted icon which is placed on the right top right corner of the screen. This is for Android phones. If you're using an iPhone, then you need to go to the settings, which is on the bottom right. If you can see the option of payments, then it is enabled on your phone. If not, then you need to wait it out. Now, if it is enabled, tap on payments and add payment method. You will get a list of bank names. Once you have selected the bank names, your number that is linked with this bank will be verified. For this, you will need to tap on verify via SMS. Make sure that your WhatsApp number is the same as the one that is linked to your bank account. Your next step, once the verification process is complete, you can then finish setting up payments. You will need to set up a UPI pin for carrying out transactions that is, which is similar to how it is on other apps like Paytm. After this, you will be able to see the chosen banks on the payment page and you can start sending or receiving payments. So how do you send or receive payments using the WhatsApp payment app? Open the chat of the person on WhatsApp and go to the attachment icon. Tap on the payment and add the amount you want to send it to this individual. One can also add a note while sending it. To complete the WhatsApp payment process, you need to enter your UPI pin that we, that we had set up in the previous steps. Once the transaction is complete, you will get a confirmation message. Now, in short, this is what it is. Now, if you're talking about the benefits of WhatsApp, like I already said, we as freelancers or as small business owners, like 
if you are selling suits or khakras or anything from home if you have a small business you are in touch with your suppliers your uh, contractors your clients the people who want to buy from you etc on whatsapp now if you could receive payments from whatsapp on whatsapp then it is going to be much easier for small business owners to keep a track of their payments and to keep a track of their receipts which is a very very big deal for small business owners because we kind of have to do a lot of things in our business and this makes just one thing a lot more simpler for us right so this is the benefit of using it for anybody who has a small business from home and i just wanted to cover it briefly because i'm excited about this whatsapp payment feature app because it can really help indian businesses small businesses in india and freelancers in india to be able to receive payments to be able to send payments yeah i don't have it enabled on my phone on my whatsapp yet so i couldn't show it to you live but when i do i will definitely make another video if you like if you have questions about whatsapp payment feature you know what to do comment below and let me know take a moment and do subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye